Now, if you have a Straight Talk AT&T Netting or a Track Phone and you have difficulty getting to the internet, this video will help you out to fix the internet problem in your device. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up to encourage me. And this is Variety Stick 2 and let's find out. Now, quick disclaimer before we start the video. As everybody knows, Straight Talk runs on three different carriers, depends on the SIM card that you purchase. Now, if you buy Verizon, it's going to be Verizon, and this video is not going to help you. I have made a video to fix the internet. If you have Straight Talk Verizon, check my channel for that video. This will be specifically if you have AT&T, Straight Talk, or Netting, or Track Phone, I will show you how to fix the internet issue. Although this video is going to be two parts, the first part is going to be a troubleshooting parts. Maybe you have some problem on the phone itself, so I'm going to walk you through some troubleshooting steps. And the second part will be about the APN settings. I'm going to show you how to do it automatically and manually. It depends on your phone. Now let me begin with the problem that you don't have internet. So you must have phone calls so if I make phone call with this phone the phone it should work but the only things I have problem with that I'm not able to access the internet and also this fix will be for all Android phone that doesn't fix the iPhone just want to pay your attention to this point so first of all if you have bars and you are able to make phone calls and your phone is not working always I highly recommend to check if you have the data enabled or not go to the notification bar and try to look where it says mobile data in your phone now if you don't see mobile data somewhere around here you can always check settings and then you can go to network and go to mobile data and as you guys can see in my phone mobile data is not enabled and then look if you see uh, 4G LTE or 5G in your phone mean your phone should have internet go ahead and test it if it works then you fix the problem now if you have the mobile data on and your internet still not working mean we have to do more investigation to find out what's the problem now in this case I would highly recommend just to turn the phone off and carry it back on if you know how to remove the SIM card I would highly recommend to remove the SIM card put it back in on the phone and check if you have the LTE pop in your phone or not and then if it doesn't work you need to do more investigation uh, also I would recommend if that didn't help to go to the settings and go to general that depends uh, about what phone you're using I'm using LG right now but all Android phone should have the option for network reset so you just need to go to uh, reset or restart and you should see option called network setting reset so do this wait one minute restart the phone and try again if you still have difficulty accessing to the internet then now we need to do the APN settings. Now in another war, the APN settings is the internet settings where you connect to the server so that way your phone will connect to the service. And also I want to pay your attention, also check your internet balance. Sometimes if you don't have internet uh, bundle, you don't have internet from the carrier, everything you're going to do in this video is not going to help you. So make sure you have unlimited plan or you have some gigabytes on your device that is very important now the easiest way to set up the APN settings in my opinion to do it automatically through sending a text message now first you will need to have Wi-Fi in this point because your internet is not available on the phone and you need to install the APN settings you have to have source of internet so you can connect Wi-Fi if it's available now if you don't have Wi-Fi period don't worry I will walk you through another step uh, where you can do your APN settings manually. Now I have connected my phone to Wi-Fi. I just need to head to the text messages in my phone. And then I just need to create a new message. And I need to send this message to 611, 611. I will type this on the screen so you guys can see everything bigger. But you need to send message to 611, 611. And then I need you to type A P 
and that's it 611 611 text message APN and hit send now we might need to wait like a few seconds maybe a few minutes it depends on the uh, a straight talk or netting or uh, the carrier depends on how long it takes but normally you should receive a text message it says if your APN settings automatically set if it's not set they're gonna send you some links where you can install them you just have to tap on that text message that they're gonna send you and you should be able just to install them and after you install you restart your phone and everything should work fine now because I have the APN setting set on my phone, it's probably, yeah, there we go. I have received all these settings right now. So I'm going to go ahead and hit on setting messages. And then you're going to see install right there. So I just have to hit install. I'm not going to do it here because I have already set my APN settings. I'm just going to try and show you. So this will automatically register all the APN settings. You're going to receive another one for the port one for the MMS messages which is picture messages and one for the internet so if you do this uh, just make sure to turn the Wi-Fi off look trying to use the internet and that might help you to fix the issue now if whatever we just did doing the APN settings automatically didn't help you I'm gonna walk you through how you do it manually now if you want to do the APN settings manually just go ahead and go to the settings on the phone go to mobile network normally every android phone has similar options so i think you're going to reach this easy if not go to search settings and put access point or apn it should get you there now we need to go to mobile network and access point name and then you have to create a new APN and you should get something like this now for all the settings I'm gonna uh, put them on the screen so guys don't worry you can pause the screen and do the APN settings and take your time now the first one will be the name that's not really important you can just put whatever name you want depends on your carrier if you have straight talk put straight talk net 10 track phone etc so I'm gonna put like net 10 And hit OK. The most important thing is the one that says APN. And you have to type this word, reseller, and then hit OK. Now, at this point, I believe your internet should work, but we need to do more things. If you wanted the picture messages to work, you have to go to MMSC and type this code, HTTP. Mm, two dots and then slash twice slash and then mm sc dot mobile dot at and dot net now we did the mmsc now you need to do the MMS proxy. So go ahead and put this code. And that's going to be a proxy. Dot mobile. Dot at and dot net. At this point we're almost done. We just need to go to MMS port and we have to put 8.0. And after you complete everything correctly, go to three dots on the top and hit save. And make sure to select the one you just created in case if you have one. Because sometimes, especially for bring your own phone or you might have AT&T phone or if you have a cricket phone, blah, blah, blah. It might say AT&T 4G and the APN settings here, TF data. This for AT&T, it's not for straight talk net 10 or uh, AT&T net 10, etc. All right, so just make sure to select this. Now I'm gonna just switch the Wi-Fi off and show you that I have access to the LTE as you guys can see and that should do it 
for this video i wish you guys find this video helpful if it did please please subscribe to this channel uh, we're trying to reach 1000 subscribers if you give me a thumbs up i will highly appreciate you guys to upload more videos i will be more encouraged thank you so much again for watching as always we'll talk to you in the next video